Hello everyone, this is Dao Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be installing some accessories on this 2023 Nissan Rogue. Now some of the items are functional and some are cosmetic to enhance the look of this car. So if you own this generation of Nissan Rogue, you definitely want to stay tuned and watch this video. In these two boxes are the all-weather floor mats I ordered. There are two pieces for the front, one for the second row, and this set also comes with a mat for the trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what the floor mats look like. This is for the front. This is also for the front. And this one here is for the second row. So let's have a closer look at one of the floor mat. This one is for the front driver's side. As you can see, the floor mat has a nice deep edge all the way around. And that's great for keeping the car clean and you don't have to worry about trekking any dirt and water into the vehicle. This floor mat is going to hold everything inside. And these two circles you see here will fit into the factory anchor for the floor mats. Here's a look at the factory carpeted floor mats. As you can see, it's not very large and it doesn't extend into the footwell. To remove it, it's very simple. Just unclip it and this comes out. To install a new mat, it's very simple. Just slide into place and then press down on these two clips. Here's a look at this mat. Here's a front passenger side floor mat. Here's a look at the installed from passenger mats. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the second row mats. And the all weather mat for the second row is one long piece that you see right here. Just slide this in place. Now there are no clips. It will fit snugly into here. Here's a look at the second row. In this box is a mat for the trunk. Here's a carpeted mat for the trunk. Just lifts up and then remove this. Here's a look at the all weather mat installed. Now it's a little wavy, but after a couple of days, it'll settle down and straighten out. Now one thing nice about this mat is that it extends all the way to the side and the end over here so this definitely give you more protection than the original factory mats. Here's another accessory I got for this Nissan Rogue. Inside this box is a tonneau cover. And this is made specifically for the Nissan Rogue. So let me unwrap this and I'll show you. Here's a look at this Nissan Rogue rear cargo tonneau cover. Now the purpose of having this is for security, so you can actually install this back here in the cargo area and when you open this up, it will actually cover this area so you won't have anybody looking in and see what you have in the cargo area. Installation is very simple, all you have to do is slide both ends into the notch area that you see right here. Now you'll notice both ends is spring loaded so you can actually compress this. Here's a look at the left side and the right side. And to use this, all you have to do is pull this out. Now you have privacy with the cargo area. And to retract it, all you have to do is pull this out and it'll retract on its own. Very easy to use. If you ever need more cargo space, it's very easy to remove. But for me, I'll just leave this installed and whenever I need it, just pull this out. Here I'm installing a tin strip on the front windshield of this Nissan Rogue. Since I'll be spraying a soapy solution on the windshield, I place a large tile on the dashboard and also remove the top trim cover for the front facing camera. 
Now I actually made a video showing you step by step on how to install a tent strip on your vehicle. So if you want to learn how to do this, check out that video and I'll put the link in the video description below. Here I place a tent film on the top edge of the windshield. Using the top edge of the windshield as a template, I cut the film so the shape of it will follow the contour of the windshield. After trimming the actual shape that I need, this is what will be installed inside the vehicle. After putting the tint film on the inside of the windshield, I squeegee all the soapy water out. And here's a look at the tint strip from the outside. With this installed, it will help block out any glare from the sun while I'm driving. Now besides the all-weather mats, I also got these chrome accents you can put on the side of the Nissan Rogue. Now if you get the Nissan Rogue Platinum trim, it does come with the chrome trim on the side. With this SB trim, it does not come with the chrome trim. So I picked up these aftermarket ones to install on the car. So this comes with four pieces, two for the back door and two for the front door. Here's a look at this Nissan Rogue before I install the chrome trim pieces. And this is what it looks like when you install it. On the back of this, there are double side tape, remove the backing and then you stick this directly on. Now before you put this on, you do need to get some rubbing alcohol and clean the entire surface. Once you have it in position, apply pressure and you want to hold it down for about a minute. Here's a look at the driver's side installed. Repeat the same steps for the passenger side. Here's a look at the passenger side. I also picked up the chrome trim pieces for the front bumper and the rear bumper. Now with this Rogue SV, it does not come with the chrome trim, but let's say if you get the Rogue Platinum from the factory, it does have the chrome on the front and back bumper. So I ordered these two aftermarket chrome trim that I can stick directly onto the factory bumper. Let me show you what the front piece looks like. Now installation is very simple. It uses 3M double sided tape to stick onto the bumper. So the first thing you want to do is use some rubbing alcohol and clean the entire surface where you'll be installing this trim. And make sure you clean it very well. Carefully center this piece on the bumper. Once you have it in the right position, then firmly press it down, apply pressure on the entire surface and hold it down for a good minute. Here's a look at the installed front trim. Next I'll install the chrome trim for the back bumper. Remove the backing on double side tape. Carefully center this piece on the bumper. Apply pressure on the entire surface and hold it down for a good minute. Here's a look at the installed trim on the back. As you can see, this is a very simple mod you can do to your Nissan Rogue. And just by adding these chrome trim to the vehicle, it makes this SV trim look a lot better. Now, if you're interested in doing this on your Nissan Rogue, I'll include the links for these products in the video description below. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how I installed this Nissan OEM hood deflector and also the window deflector you see on this vehicle. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.